Welcome to ATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. A three-year-old child presented to ER with complaints of multiple episodes of loose stools of two days duration. In initial PAT assessment triangle, appearance uh, the baby uh, shows irritability, breathing, no increased work of breathing, color, spale. Uh, primary survey, airway is patent, no pooling of secretions. Breathing, respiratory rate is 28 per minute, saturation 98 percentage on room air, air entry bilateral equal, not using any accessory muscles of respiration, no flaring of ALA. Circulation, heart rate is 104 per minute, BP 90 by 60 millimeters of mercury, uh, CRT is less than 2 seconds, skin color is pale. Coming to disability, patient responds to verbal stimulus. What is CRT? A capillary respiratory time. Okay. How will we check that? Uh, at the heel of the uh, baby's uh, baby's heel, we will uh, press for uh, just press and then withdraw. Then oh. the re refilling time. We will we'll be checking. Okay. Uh, so uh, uh, other than capillary refill time, other uh, what are the other parameters to check whether the patient is having um, low flow? So the skin, skin turgor, skin turgor, BP. Okay, so this patient's heart rate is 104. So is it tachycardia or normal? Normal. Uh, 80 to 120 can be the normal. Normal. So uh, this is a normal heart rate. Okay. Uh, BP. BP is uh, normal. BP should be systolic. It should be a 90 plus age into 2. Mm. And if it is hypotension, it is below 70 plus age into 2. Okay. So, so it, for this child, 70 plus age is 3. So 3 into 2, 6, 76 should be the hypotension. Expect. 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 So it is normal, okay. And CRT is also normal. normal. Uh, coming to disability, patient responds to verbal <laughs> stimulus, pupil 2 millimeters equally reacting to light. Uh, exposure, temperature is 98.2 degree Fahrenheit. Okay. Sample history, uh, a one year old child presented. So, uh, so in this patient, we, uh, <coughs> in this uh, pa uh, oddly abnormality, you felt initially in the pat triangle, you felt the child is little bit irritable. irritable. Mm. Uh, and uh, skin color is skin slightly pale. pale. Okay, okay. But uh, in primary survey, patient is stable. 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 Okay. Uh, a one, uh, three year old child presented to ER with complaints of multiple episodes of loose stools since two days. There is no history of fever or blood in stools, abdominal pain, decreased urine output, vomiting, constipation, drug intakes, or trauma. Uh, no allergies, uh, no regular medications, no past history of similar episodes. Uh, last meal was two hours back and in and postnatal histories are uneventful. Immunization properly immunized up to the age. Uh, uh, so you need to ask for recent immunization history if anything was there. So in the recent past uh, when we are asking history, in the sample history we usually uh, uh, forget to ask the recent past history. So recent past you need to ask for immunization history. Why? Uh, post immunization fever or no, diarrhea fever diarrhea can happen then another immunization is nowadays uh, uh, rotavirus immunization vaccine they used to give so re, uh, um, the most common cause of um, diarrheal disease in children was rotavirus, rotavirus infection so, uh, since there is rotavirus vaccine uh, available now it is um, yeah, not there so uh, that history also you need to ask in that and also in children ask for developmental history also mm -hmm. okay uh, head to toe examination uh, coming uh, from the anterior fontanelle is closed. Uh, there is sunken eyes, tears are present, oral mucosa is wet, skin turgor is uh, slow, which is less than 2 seconds, and CRT is normal. Where do you check the skin turgor? Uh, abdomen, uh, skin mm. of the abdomen. Mm. We just pinch and then uh, release. release. Mm. What is normal? Normal is uh, uh, within 2 seconds. About within one, sec one second, second within one second it will uh, go if it is uh, more than two seconds it will be uh, abdomen uh, then per abdomen is soft non-tender uh, other systems are within normal limit mm. so uh, diagnosis is acute diarrheal disease with some dehydration mm. okay so uh, feature suggestive of some dehydration is um, some baby is irritable mm. color is pale mm. then uh, sunken eyes are there mm. um, Tears present, oral mucosa sweat, 
ഓക്കെ സോ ദിസ് പേഷ്യൻറ്റ് വെൻ യു ചെക്ക് ദർ ഇസ് നോ ഫീച്ചേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് എനി ഹൈപ്പോ ടെൻഷൻ ബി പി എവറിങ് ഇസ് നോർമൽ ബട്ട് യു ഫീൽ ഡീഹൈഡ്രേഷൻ ഇസ് ദർ ഓക്കെ സോ ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഇഫ് ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് എ ചൈൽഡ് വിത്ത് ഇൻ വൺ പോയിന്റ് ഫൈവ് ഇയേഴ്സ് വി കുഡ് ഹവ് ചെക്ക് ദി ആൻറ്റീരിയർ ഫോണ്ടാനലി ഓൾസോ ഓക്കെ so uh, so um, how will you classify based on uh, no dehydration some and severe dehydration uh, no dehydration the baby will be alert okay. and uh, verbal uh, responding to verbal commands and will be thirst uh, will have thirst and orally taking the f- foods then uh, see some dehydration the baby will be irritable uh, thirst will be present and um, the skin target will be less than 2 seconds and um, severe dehydration the baby will be lethargic and uh, thirst no thirst will be present and uh, skin tugger will be more than 2 seconds mm. the child will be lethargic irritable and will not be able to tolerate oral feeds yes, if it is severe dehydration so how much deficiency will be there in the body um, severe dehydration there will be more than 100 ml per kg loss mm. will be there okay okay um and coming to the management mm. uh, we, we, have, we have three plans plan a b and c plan a for some dehydration uh, no dehydration plan b for some dehydration and c for severe dehydration mm. plan a uh, the main uh, aim is for replace the ongoing loss water mm. loss mm. so uh, for less than 6 months if baby be or will be orally taking so 50 so ml a, or less. The, we, uh, this plan a plan a is for no dehydration, no dehydration. so in no dehydration how much <coughs> fluid might have been lost maximum less than 50 less than 50 ml per, per kg. kg okay okay In, and this patient will require only what um, re- replacing the loss will be re- only required mm. and the uh, daily requirement whatever so in every uh, uh, gastroenteritis case uh, especially in children our aim is to replace with fluids mm-hmm. so daily requirement what is required for the child should be given along with that uh, whatever is getting lost yes. should be replaced so uh, what is the daily requirement for a child 20 all this other um uh, uh, for for 0 to 10 kg it is 100 ml per kg hmm. um then uh, 10 to 20 uh, plus 50 ml then more than 20 kg plus 20 ml per kg ml per kg that is the daily, daily requirement, requirement. De- requirement. Mm. that should be a whatever plan it is that daily requirement should, should be, be m- met mm. uh, in uh, in mild uh, in plan a and plan b that is for uh, no dehydration and some dehydration this fluid should be given orally mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. otherwise if the patient is in severe dehydration then we'll have to plan on giving this fluid iv mm-hmm. okay so that should be given anyways that means the daily requirement should be given anyways mm. then we will plan regarding the maintenance uh, uh, depending on the loss mm. if there is loss what will you give uh, in plan a uh, mm. less than 6 months 50 ml of ors for every loose tools 6 mm. uh, month to 2 year it is 100 uh, ml ors and more than 2 years it is 200 ml ors ors okay per kg you can plan as 10 ml per kg after each loose tool Uh, or should be given mm. and if it is uh, if the patient is having vomiting you can give 2 ml per kg so 10 ml per kg for loose tools and 2 ml per kg, kg for, for vomiting mm. Mm. so if there is no or is available what other fluids can you select um Uh, we can make ho- homemade ors can be made mm. yeah, with 1 liter in 1 liter water add 1 mm. teaspoon of sugar and a mm. pinch of salt mm. or uh, uh, the uh, non uh, non sugar added fruit juices can be given mm. coconut water a uh, fruit juices not the bottle juices or the any carbonated drinks uh, <coughs> in our home itself we can um, you uh, use yogurt curd and all mm. but that should uh, contain uh, our aim is what what is our aim sugar and uh, electrolytes should be replaced. replaced so there should be carbohydrates that means glucose yes. along with that we need some electrolytes so mm. sodium should be replaced in that so yogurt with salt uh, is allowed and uh, don't use plain sweetened yogurts and also with salt is allowed then uh, we can use um, this rice water so, rice so water will contain carbohydrates mm. along with that if you add salt you can make uh, use that as an or solution then other ones is um, some soup like items which will contain some amount of carbohydrates and salt also these things can be uh, encouraged fruit juices try to avoid because it is mostly containing glucose only salt content will be less okay uh, then coming to plan b for some dehydration 
first correct the dehydration that is 75 ml per kg over us over 4 hours mm. and replacement is same as that of the plan A mm. and uh, maintenance is a holiday, holiday sugar, sugar formula. So uh, when you come to plan B there is three management. Three management. So, daily requirement should be replaced based on holiday sugar formula. Second one is the uh, replacement, replacement with each loss uh, 10 ml, 10 10 ml per, per kg, kg for loose tools and um, then the correction of dehydration. dehydration. So this patient will be dehydrated 50 to 100 ml of body fluid uh, ml per kg of body fluid may be lost. So that should be corrected within 4 hours. Four hours. Then coming to severe dehydration that is plan C, uh, the IV fluid uh, preferably RL, uh, then it is uh, given as 100 ml per kg. If it is less than 1 year, first 30 ml per kg is given in first 1 hour and remaining in uh, la, um, remaining in 6 hours, uh, 5 hours mm. and if it is more than 1 year then it is uh, within first half an hour it is 30 ml per kg and remaining 70 ml per kg 70, uh, in uh, remaining 2 and a half hours. And if there is hypotension, 20 ml per kg bolus should be given. Hmm. Uh, then maintenance you can give us DNS. Okay. So, um, plan A and plan B as we told only oral yeah. correction is required. Plan C what is required? I, mm -hmm. we, uh, this child is, will, will be lethargic, irritable, we won't tolerate any oral feed. So, mm -hmm. in this patient we need to insert IV cannula and if the child is having hypotension we will be giving any uh, uh, any type of fluids. Uh, most likely it will not be any dextrose containing some electrolyte and RL or any something can be given. So, uh, 20 ml per kg is the ball mm -hmm. dose which you are giving. If still the child is in hypotension what will you do? Another 20 ml per kg mm. can be given up mm. to uh, 3 bolus can be given. given. So, so maximum 60, 60 ml per kg, kg can be given in children. Mm. Okay. What if the child is having some cardiac abnormalities and or um, some uh, congenital heart disease who cannot tolerate fluids? Mm. Ma what is the maximum fluids which we can give? Five. 10 to 15. Mm. Uh, 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 Maximum 10 ml per kg, but uh, keep in a safe side 10 ml per kg. <coughs> okay. So, that is for hypotension, hypotension. treating hypotension. Mm. Uh, if the uh, patient is in severe dehydration without hypotension, first we will have to uh, uh, give the uh, uh, lost fluid. What is a lost fluid? That is the more, more than 100, 100 ml, ml per kg. So, that should be given, uh, that should be given ideally within the next 6-7 six, six hours. hours. Mm. Then the whole day sagar so formula that is the maintenance fluid and then um, replacement replacement also you will have to supplement with each loose tools mm -hmm. okay so uh, maintenance fluid uh, here uh, we are giving it as iv so how will you give the maintenance fluid as iv IV, so uh, we have told the whole day sagar formula based on the day per day per requirement. Day. So, first 10 kg, uh, 100 ml per, per day, mm. next 10 kg, 50 ml per day and next 10 kg, uh, next uh, whatever it is, 20 ml per day. But when we calculate into per hour, then we will have to give it as 4 ml per hour, 4 ml per kg per hour mm. in the first 10 kg. Mm. Then 2 ml per kg per hour mm. in the next one, next, uh, uh, next uh, more, 10 than kg, kg. more than 10 kg mm. and 1 ml per kg per hour for mm. whatever weight more than 20, 20 kg. Okay. Mm. Then what else will you give? Uh, zinc can be given. Mm. Uh, it heals the intestinal epithelium. If it uh, less than 6 months, 10 mg per kg. Mm -hmm. uh, if it is more than 6 months, it is 20 mg per kg, uh, both uh, given for 14 days. Okay, okay. Then? Um, then antibiotics are not usually indicated because mm -hmm. if it is fever, mm -hmm. uh, we can give antibiotics. Mm -hmm. And um, When all will you consider giving antibiotics? Uh, if the pa baby have fever mm -hmm. and if in history of traveling, traveler's mm -hmm. diarrhea is there mm -hmm. and if there is blood in stools, mm -hmm. dysentery. Uh, or any surgical abdomen, surgical cases, mm -hmm. you can give antibiotics. <coughs> okay. Uh, then? Uh, probiotics and antisecretives are usually not indicated in children. Mm. Okay. Uh, rest of things are contraindicated okay. in case of children. Then, uh, what all things can be given? So, fluid can be given, sink. Then, what all advices will you give? Um, hand hygiene mm. should be uh, at, at, um, presented 
uh, good personal hygiene and uh, proper sanitary practices and uh, water intake should be proper mm. that should be advised properly then feeding breastfeeding breastfeeding should be done mm. uh, don't uh, um, should be it's uh, don't be stopped now why should we continue breastfeeding i should tell you the simple question <laughs> oral intake ah okay. it is for the nutrition for the child one thing is mother's breast milk supply will reduce if the child is not feeding mm. from her so uh, one thing is that so uh, that is for the mother's uh, breast milk supply mm. second one is uh, the gut will Mm, uh, uh, heal itself when we are giving breast milk and other thing is for that nutrition of the child okay then anything else mm, then um, causes of the malaria uh, then uh, uh, further blood test evaluation everything depends on why this patient developed gastroenteritis this case this is actually a simple gastroenteritis so we don't want to evaluate for that mm. if this is any chronic diarrhea um, or a persistent diarrhea that means it if it is lasting more than 14 days then we'll have to consider evaluating for that mm. so what are blood tests will you consider um tot- counts can be checked total counts total counts routines to- uh, total count cbcrp for checking the infection okay. then um lft uh, lft is liver function test then electrolytes, electrolytes. most important is electrolytes, electrolytes. okay uh, so uh, then what all are uh, what are the other causes of diarrhea um, can be infective mm. uh, causes and then uh, persist for recurrent and persistent causes it may be due to dietary intolerances like lactose intolerance malabsorption f- food allergy celiac diseases mm. and if it is uh, acute uh, most common is viral Uh, uh, causing rotavirus adenovirus norovirus uh, corona and bacteria like salmonella shigella vibrio cholera e coli uh, protozoal and and amoeba giardia and uh, in immuno- immunocompromised we should suspect fungal causes okay and that is the infective causes non infective causes is it for intolerances food intolerances food intolerances okay. especially lactose intolerance and all so some individuals might ask the child might be on cow's milk and all so can we give cow's milk if the child is having gastroenteritis the child no, is no. not having any lactose intolerance problem it can be given mm-hmm. okay then um, so uh, some food allergies these things should be considered and any chronic problems or any anatomical issues irritable bowel okay. disease or any surgical abdomen also should be ruled out okay uh, in case of adult how will you assess dehydration in adult adult if we are if we are getting a prolonged crt and if we are getting hypotension we will tell that the ch- uh, patient is in hypotension mm. otherwise how will we tell the patient is in dehydration or not oral mucosa can be checked mm. Uh, then skin is dry or mm. okay ivc mm. no, ivc can be checked if we don't have the, uh, any uh, way to check ivc then what can you do mm. what is a uh, passive leg raising test we place the patient in first uh, number position mm. and we show the we measure the bp mm. and the heart rate and give the patient leg raised for uh, 10 minutes and we again re- reassess the bp and heart rate okay so first we will make the patient sit up mm. in a 45 degree recumbent position with the leg straight mm. first patient should be sit up like this mm. 45 degree uh, with leg straight mm. and after that Uh, check the bp vitals at that time mm. and then we will have to raise the leg simultaneously make the head supine so head should be supine the leg should be raised mm. opposite mm. of what we have mm. done then within 30 to around 90 seconds the patient's bp will improve ideally this, uh, because what we are planning to do is when the leg raises mm. all the venous <coughs> return will increase and that will improve the patient's bp mm. ideally if we have an arterial line these things and all it will be very properly mm. got but otherwise we will um, we'll be checking the heart rate and the blood pressure mm. so if any 10 percentage increase is there in stroke volume or blood pressure we consider it as fluid responsive in this patients we can give fluids okay anything else 
Thank you.